everybody, welcome back to Psych2Go. My name is Daria and today I'm going to be telling you guys 10 things introverts and extroverts need to understand about each other. Number one, as you may or may not know, introversion and extroversion has to do with how people are energized. Introverts generally get their energy from being alone, while extroverts get energy while being around others. Number two, being outgoing and outspoken doesn't equate to being an extrovert, and being shy and reserved doesn't equate to being an introvert. There's a lot of outgoing introverts and a lot of shy extroverts. Number three, there seems to be this sense that only introverts don't like small talk. Newsflash, nobody likes small talk. Nobody wants to be around people who hurl several pieces of information around them. And believe it or not, introverts and extroverts can both initiate small talk. Number four, it is incredibly patronizing that extroverts have been painted as overwhelming people who don't know how to keep quiet for like five minutes. And the same thing to treat introverts as awkward human beings who don't know how to interact in social situations. Number five, everyone needs a break from people from time to time. In fact, most people should do more because the world is filled with so much noise. The difference in needing this alone time between extroverts and introverts is the frequency and the different degrees of comfort. Number six, introversion and extroversion are not one size fits all personality traits, and they more than likely look different on different people. Number seven, as you get older, you are less likely to be an extreme introvert or an extreme extrovert. And in fact, most people kind of move closer to the middle. And the traits of each tend to become less obvious. Number eight, sometimes a lot of the people who like to work a room in things such as a networking or social event, you might perceive as extroverts. In reality, it could be an introvert who likes to spend time alone, although will need to be recharged after the event, and is also just a good social connector. Number nine, the more influential cultures of the Western world like to favor extroversion over introversion, which is why everyone from your teacher to your boss like to view extroverts as intelligence. However, Eastern and many other cultures favor introversion more and like to see them as intelligent. Number 10, contrary to the popular belief of this part of the world, introversion is not the minority. They are said to make up from anywhere to a third to a half of the population of the United States. And that's all we've got for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below what you think. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel where I make videos every single Thursday. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!